A Houston father is missing in Wyoming and new at six o'clock. We're hearing from his family as the search for him continues. Bob Lowry has not been seen for more than a month and all investigators and his family have to go on right now is a mysterious set of circumstances. KPRC 2's Courtney Zubowski is live now with that story. And Courtney Lowry has strong ties to the memorial area. Right, Chris, he grew up in Memorial, went here to Memorial High School. We've been in touch with his sister, and she told us that right now, Teton County Sheriff's investigators are searching for him. It's a desperate search for a father of two missing for over a month. Bob Lowry left Houston on August 19th to explore Jackson Hole, but no one has seen or heard from him since August 20th on the Black Canyon Trail. Hikers reported he was sitting by a rock holding a black Nike duffel bag. On a Facebook page dedicated to finding Lowry, his sister Lee Lowry wrote, quote, as you can imagine, the worst part is not knowing and desiring his safe return. We continue to hope that he is well and will return home safely. According to the Teton County Sheriff's Office, the Houston father was last seen about 40 miles from where the body of Gabby Petito was found. Petito disappeared after a cross-country trip with her fiancé. Investigators don't think there is a connection. Lowry said of her brother, Bob is a loving father of two amazing kids who he has daily contact with. He doesn't like him to be out of touch with them for this long. While his phone does still push to voicemail, we know the last activity was in and around the 20th of August. Lowry's family went to Wyoming after he disappeared. They plan to return at the end of the week. Lee Lowry wrote, we are working to see if we can get expert hikers, search and rescue, mountain biking groups, and or a helicopter and drone in the area to help locate. And according to the Teton County Sheriff's Office, it was the Gabby Petito case that led to tips in this case. We're live in the Memorial area. Courtney Zabowski, KPRC 2 News.